I don't know what's going on with that, but we're gonna find out what's causing that with this coming up. Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper Channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading. And today, we're gonna find out what that check engine light's about using the blue driver. Now, since I've gotten this blue driver, it has been fantastic. I've used it in my truck, I've used it in friends' cars, and I've used it in the Trooper. Now, I've had two or three instances where check engine lights have come on in the Trooper and in the Super Duty, and they've always been simple things. But I took the Trooper out this morning riding around town, and I had a check engine light come on. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how this Blue Driver OBD2 scanner works. This thing was right at $99. I got it off of Amazon and it has been pretty impressive. It does live data, mode six. Uh, it resets engine lights. Uh, it, it does a lot of different things where you can diagnose what's going on with a check engine light. So let me show you how this thing works. Now when you get the blue driver, it comes in a simple little box, and inside here is the port to plug into your OBD2 data line. And it looks like this, very small and simple. And then there's an app that you download on your phone. So let's plug this thing in and see what's going on with this check engine light. Now that we have the blue driver plugged into the OBD2 data port, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Bluetooth connection and we're gonna connect to the blue driver. And then we'll pull up our app and we're gonna press read codes and it's scanning and the code is P0442 which is EVAP system leak detected and that's a small leak now what this code likely means is simply the gas cap is loose I've seen this in the trooper a couple of times and actually I have ordered a new gas cap which I installed for this exact reason but I guess something about whenever I finish filling up maybe it just doesn't go in there just right or something and so the first thing we're gonna try is we're gonna try to take off and reinstall the gas cap and see if that makes a difference so let me go do that now and then we'll reset the codes and we'll see how it goes Now, I've taken off and reinstalled the gas cap, and made it just a little more snug, and then we're going to go back to the codes, and we're going to tap clear code, and it gives you a warning, clearing the codes on your vehicle does not fix any problems, so we clear the codes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine off, and then I'll restart it, and we'll see if that code comes back. And the vehicle did not report any trouble codes at this time, and while we're on the subject of the blue driver, let me show you guys some of the other things that we can do. I can go right here in live data and hit supported codes and it gives me a whole list of the codes that are supported for this particular vehicle fuel system status uh, engine load value short-term fuel trims long-term fuel trims the whole list intake temperature manifold pressures it gives me a whole list of all of the available live data for this particular vehicle and so let's just say that we want to look at our fuel trims so we'll put short and long-term fuel trims and then we'll go live and you can see here that it gives me a list of my short and long-term fuel trims which by the way guys I've mentioned this before Schrodinger's box 
channel has an amazing video on fuel trims and how you can learn how to diagnose engine problems with fuel trims and I'll link that video in the description the guy's a super smart guy he's one of my favorite channels Schrodinger's box on fuel trims and I'll link it in the description now the cool thing about this is is you can see right here I'm looking at my fuel trims and if I turn my phone sideways now it shows me those fuel trims as a graph and as I hit the accelerator, you can see the graphs going up and down and changing based on the adjustments that the engine is making based off of the fuel trim that the engine needs to maintain that stoichiometric ratio in the engine management system. Now, if we go back and we pick some other things, let's just say that we want to look at engine RPM, we want to look at the timing advance for number one cylinder, air intake temperature, and mass airflow rate. And then we hit live data. And we can turn that sideways and we can see what those numbers look like and we can diagnose any problem that we may have with the timing advance or we can see problems that we have with any air intake temperature sensors or mass airflow sensors we can maybe check crank sensors or cam sensors the other thing that makes this so neat is underneath the value that it has for this particular engine it shows you what the normal values are so example you can see right here the normal number for timing advance for cylinder number one is 11 to 37 degrees and you can see at idle I'm running at 17 so that's within the normal no problem with that value this thing is really great for 99 bucks you really can't beat these and I've let it idle here since while we've been talking and the check engine light has not come back on and you know sometimes you have to fix a truck with wrenches sometimes you could fix it with your iPhone and if you don't have an OBD2 scanner yet you should definitely look into getting one and I think this blue driver is a great choice well it looks like that was a simple fix the check engine light hasn't come back on and you know we were able to fix this and we are DIY certified. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great group of guys we have here on this channel. And give me a thumbs up because you know it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.